Well, that's awkward. I just shot this whole video and uh, didn't hit record on my recorder. So that whole video has no sound whatsoever. None, no sound. Let's redo it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing things on cameras. I've been asked in the past two months about seven or eight times what camera someone should buy. And that's a question that's not really an easy answer to give. Uh, it's all based on what you need and what you plan on doing with the camera. So I have a couple different cameras set out here. I wanna explain each one and what they're used for and maybe give you a little bit better understanding why I can't just say buy this camera. Okay, so starting off, we are gonna jump in here with an action camera. This is the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. I bought this uh, whenever it first came out. It was roughly about 300 bucks and uh, it's a great little action camera. Fantastic. Um, it comes in this little waterproof housing it's great it's got batteries you can interchange uh, this is really good if you want to like put it on the hood of a car on an airplane wing anything like that take it underwater this is a great little camera for that um, I actually have taken it many times and put it like on my buddy's guitar or inside of my buddy's guitar and we've gotten some really cool videos that way um, I did take pictures in LA with this camera it's not very user friendly to take photos with because you have to add on the screen. The new one is way better. I plan on getting it soon, but this is a great little camera if you're looking for action stuff. Not really gonna be doing what these cameras will do, but if you've got two or 300 bucks to spend, you can spend that on this, get the brand new one, and you're good to go if you're doing action stuff. Now, moving on. This is the Canon G7X. This is my vlogging camera. It is a point and shoot camera. It's a fantastic camera. I love this camera. Um, this is the Mark I, they have a Mark II, and they're about to release a Mark III. The Mark III goes for just about $750. Uh, the Mark II, I think, is down to like 600, maybe 550 now. And you can pick these up brand new for around 500 bucks and used you can normally find these about two to three hundred dollars this is a great little point and shoot camera if you want a camera you can blog with or just point and shoot and take pictures with this is what i would point you towards the majority of people that ask what camera should i buy you can cut the video off right here because this is what you're wanting honestly you're you're not wanting this you're not wanting what i'm shooting on you're not wanting this these are pro grade cameras you're wanting one of these that is good quality, takes great pictures, will take video of your kids every now and then, and that's it. Throw it in your pocket, you're good to go. Um, I only use this for photo, or wow, I only use this for vlogging. I do not use this for photos at all. Um, this is not a photo camera for me. Even though it is great in low light, I would rather use my pro grade bodies for photos and just use this for vlogging. So. Even with my little baby tripod that's on here, this little thing still fits in my pocket very, very easily. It's a great camera. And you can get a used one of these. This is the Mark I. You can get a used one of these for like two or 300 bucks. If you're looking for a great camera that you can just take pictures with, this is the direction I would point you in. Now, if you're wanting to be a professional photographer or you're wanting to actually do photo shoots with your friends and family, I would not push you in this direction because you do not look like you should be taken seriously whenever you pull up to a photo shoot with this camera. I know, I've done it. It was a nightmare, it was horrible, and I hated it. I did a photo shoot with this camera. Don't do it. Moving on. This is the Canon AE-1. I'm kind of seeing a, 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 a trend here of all my cameras are Canon and if Canon made an action camera, I'd have it. But this is the Canon AE-1. This is a 35 millimeter film camera. 
Now, all you little kids out there that don't know what film cameras are, you're not a hipster. That means that you put a film canister inside of here, pull it over, and you just go You take one picture, revolve the film, click it, one picture. Revolve the film, click it, one picture. Okay, you've got like 26 pictures you can take with this. Then you have to take it to Walmart or have your own developing solution, develop your photos, and then either go pay for them or develop them yourself. Either way, you don't get that instant gratification. I love 35 millimeter cameras. I probably have eight to 12 different ones. I probably have five of the Canon AE ones, just different versions of it. I love this camera. Um, now, with that being said, you can pick these up for anywhere between 200 bucks to 400 bucks, depending on the, um, how good a quality it's in and where you're getting it from. This is a 35 millimeter camera, so you have to buy film and you have to wait to get your pictures back. There's no instant gratification with like a digital camera where you instantly see your photos and get to delete it because you don't like it or on your cell phone. You know, you gotta wait with this thing. So you're probably not gonna, you're probably not gonna buy one of these. Like, moving on. Next is the camera I'm shooting on right now, which is basically the little brother to this big beastie, um, the Canon 77D. Now this is, honestly, if you're looking to get into photography and you're just starting out, this is the direction that I'm gonna point you towards because it's gonna come with two kit lenses, depending on the kit that you buy, it might come with one, but um, you're gonna be able to interchange the lenses, kinda like with this one. You cannot do that with these two. This is kind of the intro into changing out lenses on your camera. So the 77D, that is in line with the 60D, 70D, and 80D, and soon to be 90D, that is in that family. Now there is a little brother to these cameras, which is like the T6i, the T7i, and the T8i. These are great cameras, they are. If you're going with that, you're getting out a little bit cheaper doing that way. Um, you're gonna get a little bit more quality. The camera's gonna be built a little bit better if you go with like the 80D, the 77D. The, the quality's gonna be a little bit better on the camera. You're gonna get a little more options like a LCD screen here on the top and stuff like that. So if you're wanting to get into photography and you're wanting to shoot a little bit of video, maybe, but mostly pictures, I would definitely push you towards the 77D. Um, you're gonna get this kit for around eight to $900. Uh, depending on where you get it, it might be a thousand. Uh, but other than that, you can buy just the body for like six or 700 bucks if you already have lenses, which if you're new to photography, you probably don't have lenses yet, so you might just wanna go ahead and buy the kit, honestly. Uh, but this is the direction I would point you in because with this, you show up to a photo shoot with this, you do, you're do you not gonna be taken seriously. You don't look like a professional and you don't wanna be embarrassed showing up with one of these. Don't do it. Moving on, this big hunk of pro grade metal and rubber and other stuff inside is the Canon 5D Mark IV. This is my baby, any of my pro shoots um we're talking weddings we're talking anything where i'm getting paid i use this this is my go-to baby um now with this this is a pro grade camera technically the 77d the t7i all those cameras those are not pro grade cameras this is a pro grade camera meaning it's professional essentially um if you can afford it buy it if you're wanting to take photography seriously, buy it. If you can't, I understand. Go with one of these, save up your money, work your way up. This is the best camera I've, I've ever bought. It's fantastic, I love it. I've made so much money off of this camera. Now, with that being said, this camera without the lens, the lens is extra, you gotta buy the lenses. Um, just the camera body and the accessories I have on it, this camera is $4,600. And then the lens right here, 
Um, it depends on where you buy it from, but it's anywhere from $600 to $1,000 for the lens. This is an expensive setup that not a lot of people are gonna want to get their hands on. Um, but if you're looking to get into photography and you're just starting out, you're an amateur, I would buy a 77D like we're shooting on right now. If you've been in it for a while and you've been saving up your money, I would buy this baby right here. I love this camera. I love it, love it, love it. Moving on. This is sitting in place of the 1DX Mark II. This is the Canon 1D. Uh, love this camera. <clears throat> this is a huge, huge, huge upgrade to any camera, really. This is actually their like expert professional line is the 1D series. Now this is legitimately made for either wildlife shoots or sports photography. This is a sports action camera. This is a very expensive camera. If you are an amateur, you're just getting started out in photography, I would never, ever push you towards this. Now, I have told one person, okay, okay. One person was being kind of butthole-ish towards me because I wouldn't give them a straight answer on what camera they should buy because of this very reason of me making the video, it's not always clean and clear. So they were like, well, I need to know right now, what camera should I buy? So I told them the 1DX Mark II. Now the 1DX Mark II, this is a $6,000 camera. That does not include any lenses, nothing. That's the body, this $6,000 camera. Needless to say, I haven't heard back from them and I haven't seen them posting any pictures where they're doing photography, so I'll keep you posted. But this right here, I would say if you're on the sidelines in an NFL game and you've, you've got to get that perfect shot of that end of the field and you need, let's see if I can turn this on. Let's see. I don't even know if it's, let's see. Battery's dead battery's dead. I was going to show you how fast this thing will take pictures. It's insane how fast. It's like a machine gun going off. It's so stupid how fast this will take pictures. But you've got one shot, one chance to get that picture at that end of the field. You're going to want this camera right here. This, this is, this is what you need. Other than that, I wouldn't push it towards this camera. It's an amazing camera, it's fantastic. But if you're starting out, you have $6,000, you can buy a lot more stuff. You can buy a whole studio setup before you bought this camera and be just fine, 100%. Wouldn't buy this camera until you're far enough along. You save up enough money, you learn all your camera settings because that's another thing is the smaller we get, the more simple and simplistic these cameras get, the larger, they get the more complicated these cameras are getting like this one right here all of your settings are here on the back which is fantastic it's once you learn it it's very easy to work through or here there's a lot of buttons on this I've had many people be like I want to use your camera I hand it to them and they can't even take a picture with it or if they do it's just a black screen they don't understand what's going on this camera on the other hand there's little buttons on top and you have to know, okay, I have to hit these two buttons at the exact same time and spin this wheel. And now hit this button with this button and spin this wheel and press all three buttons and spin the wheel. And it's a very complicated, complex camera. So I would not push an amateur towards one of these, but if you can afford it, I still wouldn't. So guys, I hope this explained a little bit about what camera you should buy. If this helped you out, at any even a little bit please give us a like think about subscribing or hitting that notification bell down below i'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos like this to kind of help you out with your photography journey to get you a little bit closer to taking those better pictures but thanks for coming along guys